don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Golden Bear Legend Joe Cap passes away. And when a touchdown Cal is Legend needed, and Hall of Famer Joe Cap Joe passed Cap, away Cap, from complications Cap, of dementia Monday at the age of 85. Cap was One best known at Cal for leading the Golden Bears the to the 1959 Rose Bowl, serving as the school's head football coach in 1982 Actually, when Cal used the play to defeat Stanford in the big game, and several other signature wins over the Cardinal. Cap's success at Cal and beyond led to his election in multiple halls of fame, including those of the Bay Area, British Columbia Sports, Cal Athletics, Canadian Football League, College Football, Laredo Latin American Sports and National Hispanic Sports. In addition to his illustrious career, Cap was also known for this his memorable and often repeated phrases, most Hell notably, Joe's mentality. the bear will not Joe quit, responds to challenges. the bear will not die. He's ready for Baltimore. <laughs> On the gridiron at Cal, Baltimore Cap Colts. was a three-year starter at quarterback who led the Bears to the Pacific Coast Conference title and the number 16 he ranking in the Mike final AP Top 25 York, during his 1958 All-American Senior Campaign. He was the PCC's rushing leader that season with 616 yards the Vikings on the ground, two opponent, which is the most the defending NFL campaign champion by a Cal in the 1968 while playoffs, also scoring five they rushing eliminated touchdowns. the Vikings. Cap's 931 career rushing yards were also the most by a Cal signal caller by for more than a half century before Chase Garbers broke the mark in 2021. In addition, Cap owns the they school's fourth longest run from scrimmage in 92 kind yards of against Oregon in 1958. Following his Cal playing career, Cap became the first person in his family to graduate from college when he earned it. his bachelor's degree from UC Berkeley in 1959. Cap was selected by the Washington Redskins earlier that year in the 1959 NFL draft, he was out but for spent revenge. his first eight seasons in professional football playing season. in the Canadian so Football League with the Calgary Stampeders, 1959 and, and the BC Lions, 1961-66, leading the latter to their first Grey Cup title in 1974. He moved to the NFL for his final four pro campaigns yeah, and led the stadium, Minnesota Vikings to Super Bowl IV in 1970. Cap played three seasons in Minnesota, 1967-69, before finishing his playing career with the Boston Patriots, 1970. Cap seven touchdown passes for the Vikings against the Baltimore Colts in 1969 are tied for the most all-time in a single game in NFL history. Cap is the only player to ever quarterback a team in the Rose Bowl, Grey Cup and Super Bowl. His five-year tenure the third as Cal's head football coach ran from 1982-86 with his best season, both his Order. first at Cal Cap and first had already as a thrown coach at any five level. touchdowns. Cap earned Pac-10 coach of the I year honors the game in 1982 twice. when he turned around in, a Bears in, in squad Canada, that had been 2-9 in 1981 was, uh, and led Cal to a 7-4 record that and culminated with a win over Stanford. He would defeat Stanford three times in his five there seasons he went in. as the Bears. But they knocked coach. him out. They broke his nose. Cap also lettered for the Bears in so basketball I go back in for and two still seasons in 1956-57 and 1957-58. Cap had a knack for beating Stanford in both sports. In addition to his three coaching wins in five seasons against the Cardinal, he led Cal to an upset victory over All-American quarterback John Brody against one of the best in defenses in, in football. 1956 and Cap also threw was seven touchdowns. against a nationally ranked no Stanford quarterback team has thrown in seven in a game, game in 1958 to secure a Rose Bowl seven appearance on the hardwood. Cap sunk a buzzer beater to defeat the Cardinal in 1957. He played great. Off and the field, Cap him. was the first Great player leader. to successfully and sue the National Football League for free that agency. We did that that and, man, uh, at least but five of them were was instrumental <laughs> in improving rights and pay for professional football players. After being locked out by the NFL in 1971, the end zone to shows the free Cap's agency lawsuit, were covered. he started so he an took acting off career that right led to more than 50 Houston. roles in television His knee and hit feature the films, captain in the head. The longest Houston yard. Never knew what he hit also him. worked with Caesar Chavez in support of farm worker rights and was a lifelong fundraiser for organizations supporting the Latino community at UC Berkeley. Cap was a four-sport athlete at Hart High School, New Hall, Calif before arriving in Berkeley in 1955. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment.